What's going on everybody? This is the iPhone XS running all the latest iOS 18.4 and people where they are facing battery draining issues, battery life issues, this device being a very old one going really really smooth. So in this video I want to talk about that how the battery draining is going on on this device and how what are the settings that can help to improve the battery life and that can help you to stop the battery draining and overheating on your iPhone. So without any further delay, let's get jump into this video. Now, first thing first, I want to show you how the battery is actually performing on in this device. So I'm going to go to the battery section over here. No, this is not my main device. I don't use this device much. Uh, maybe let me turn on the light mode. And over here, as you can see, a pretty much a straight line. Um, you know, there is a couple of percent drop, but a couple of percent drop is quite normal for every other device because every like there's a lot of things that are going in the background. So a couple of percent is very, very normal. But that is fine. But there is not any sort of domestic draining. Now, as you can see, I don't use this device much. Over here, I use the device. I was testing out the battery life. And after using it for like 70% of the battery life, I got 4 hours and 32 minutes screen on time. But it's really, really good for a device which is very old. It is iPhone XS, a very old device. And also the battery health capacity is 85%. Um, also from last 7 months, it dropped only 1%. So I will make another video in which I talk about how I, you know, kept the battery life so good, battery health so good for uh, this much but a long time. So that is another video. But coming back to it, as you can see on that day, I used YouTube a lot. I used a camera app. I was like shooting a day in the life video for iPhone and another iPhone and a Facebook and some other applications. And things are going really, really good as you can see. Now, how I achieved this good battery life on this much old iPhone that is important. Now, few settings I want to share. First of all, go into the settings over here. You need to customize your location, like going into the location. You don't have to turn on the location for every other app. You can choose never or you can choose while using. These are some of the best options available. Also, when you are into system services, you don't need these over here as you can see. If you don't use HomeKit, just turn it off and also turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Also turn this option off. It is not helping you in any possible way. It is just for Apple. So this can help a lot if you turn them off to save battery life of your device. Now, this way, there are a lot of settings that I actually tell in my every other videos. Turn this option off and, you know, go into the analytics improvement turn it off and lot i did a lot of videos you can check out those videos too importantly um, why you might be not getting a good battery life is that you might be not uh, charging your iphone in a right way so it is very important for you guys to charge your iphone in a right way and to charge the iphone in a right way is to you know turn on the optimized uh, charging battery charging so for that what you need to do is go into the settings go to the battery section go to the battery health and charging and turn this on to reduce battery aging i will learn from your daily charging routine so it can wait to finish charging past 80 percent until you need to use it so you can turn this on and it can help a lot to enhance the battery life to keep the battery health really really in a good shape so turn it on also follow 2080 rule now what is 2080 rule whenever your device is near 20 percent right now it is like 53 percent but if it comes near to 20 percent i will stop using my phone and i will put this phone on charging and once it is around 80 percent i will stop the charging and if i want to use i will use or you know just stop the charging following 2080 rule is one of the best practices that can help to stop aging your battery of your iphone so make sure to follow this also try to use original chargers if you cannot afford like apple original chargers don't use the cheap options go for maybe um chargers that are mfi made for iphone maybe from anchor Bezos. well this is not sponsored but 
these are some of the best options available there will be more you can check on apple's website or different websites that share the data of mfi charging and data cables use good stuff to charge your phone so these are the things that can help to stop the battery training and talking about the overheating overheating can be because of different thing it can be because of that something is running in the background that is consuming a lot of your battery life and making the device heat up so you just need to restart your device once um, you need to refresh your device once that can also help a lot to stop the overheating also if you are a um, heavy mobile data user Try using Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a way better option than using mobile data. It can help a lot um, to stop the overheating. But these are some of the tips and tricks that you can apply to improve the overall performance of your device. Well, this is all from this video. And if if you like this video, let me know the comment section below. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace out.